Hey guys, Greg here. This video is sponsored by Tiny Bird. In just a few minutes, like literally look at the YouTube timeline if you want, I'm going to show you how to make an API that runs a query on a massive amount of data on a really nice interface. So trust me, just check this out. It's really nice. Okay, so the first thing we do is go to tinybird.co or .com. It routes you there. Then we just go ahead and sign in. We are going to then pick our region. I picked US East. You might pick a different one. It's going to ask you for a workspace name. You can just put whatever you want. I like Greg Space. I think it's a funny name. And starter kit, we're just going to go with empty. It's easier that way. And create workspace. So here you'll see you just add data. We're going to do that right away. We're just going to do remote URL. It's really easy. You could do whatever you want, though. We're going to use the API. And so here, this is just a copy paste. So you don't even have to know what it is. We copy that and then we open a terminal. For me, I'm on Windows. So I'm actually going to switch to WSL, which uses Linux, just because that's what they gave us, basically. And from here, I'm just going to straight up copy that in there. So WSL loaded. We'll just paste that in. Don't worry about it. Just run it. So enter. It's going to give you this JSON response saying it worked and magically if you go back to tiny bird it actually just did it already you've already got your data and so now that you have that we create a pipeline now before we do that we'll look at our actual data set it's about stocks so we're going to call it stock data set we have many symbols here so those are stock symbols you have the date the open high traditional stock kind of values and we have the schema here if you want to look at that and there's not a whole lot of graphing yet but uh, that'll show up later if you want to look at that and back to our data so we'll just add a quick description of what our pipeline is going to do so our pipeline is going to get the top five values of the stocks basically so how do we do that in sql we are going to order by we're going to use the close adjusted value order by close adjusted and we're going to get a limit so we do limit five because we said the top five this is not quite right as is you'll see really low numbers because we are sorting by ascending so we want to switch that to descending and here it's actually all from this abio stock so what is that i've never heard of them so what's actually really cool about this is they're a biopharmacy company and holy crap in the dot-com era they exploded so that explains that we're going to create our api endpoint and it's a lot easier than you're expecting yeah it's done like literally we just did it by pressing that button and we can start using this api okay so how do we use it well there's a lot of different ways this is pretty standard for an api we're going to use python because just because i don't know i i guess i only use python so let's just stick to that we're going to copy all of this stuff here and i'm just going to boot up a collab notebook just you know to show you that it doesn't really matter the setup that you have for python this is just running in the cloud we're going to paste that into a cell and we're just going to run that as is and it's going to spew out our data in the form of our json the so response.json here it is uh, that's actually a lot more than the data it gives you stuff like the schema as well here we are searching for the actual data which is in the key data if we're going to say put this into maybe a pandas data frame you can do whatever you want with it but we'll do that we'll make a pd dot data frame passing the response dot json in there and then you key in the data and boom you're going to have a data frame that has exactly the output we just saw we used our api and honestly that's it so i hope you see how phenomenal that is in less than three minutes we just created an api that runs and queries data from a pipeline extremely quickly you could set it up to whatever data stream that you have and it's a it's a truly phenomenal tool with an amazing ui so yeah, that, that's why I partnered with them. I think it's fantastic. Okay, guys, I hope that was helpful. Go check out Tiny Bird by just literally writing tinybird.co and doing the few minute process that it did for me. Of course, if you're doing your own sort of tailored project, then it might be a little bit more work. You might upload your own CSV or connect your own cloud profile, but whatever it is, it's really not too hard. Tiny Bird makes it super easy. Go check it out. I hope you have a great day, guys, and see you later. Bye-bye.